there are books that all of us are familiar with that are you would call war classics. You know, I'm thinking about uh, E.B. Sledge's With the Old Breed, about the Marines in the Pacific, or Andy McNabb's uh, Bravo 2-0. Many of these that are written by the real person that was really part of it, of, of an adventure or an ordeal or something like that. And this book is one of those. It deserves to be on the shelf with the best of the best. It's called, in the, the English translation, the title is Solitary. Now, full disclosure, I and my business partner, Sean Coyne, and our little company, Black Irish Books, we, we published this book. It was originally published in Hebrew, and the title of it was Tulip 4. It became a sensation over there. Tulip 4 was the call sign of a fighter pilot named Giora Rom. He's the writer of, of this book. And the story is that in the Six-Day War in 1967, Giora Rom was a 22-year-old lieutenant who became the first fighter pilot ace, meaning shooting down five enemy planes um, in, the, in the history of the Israel Air Force. And 14 months later, over the Nile Delta, his Mirage 3C was shot down, and he endured months and months of captivity with his leg shattered in, in a dozen places and with a broken arm in a plaster cast in solitary confinement. And this is his story. Let me read you just the first paragraph from, from this book. 11 September 1969. I am dangling beneath my parachute, gazing down from a height of 10,000 feet, knowing I'm going to be killed in less than 15 minutes. I feel great sorrow for myself. None of my fellow pilots who've parachuted into the Nile Delta have survived the encounter with the welcoming committee below, and I have no reason to think my fate will be any different. What happened to Giora was he got shot down by an Egyptian missile. And as he's looking down into the Nile Delta, floating down in his parachute, he can see farmers coming out with pitchforks and axes and everything to hack him to pieces. Now he survived that and then had to survive months and months in solitary confinement. And here's another thing that, uh, that he writes. In all the world, there is no lower place to which one can fall than the cold concrete floor of solitary confinement. And on all the planet, there is no place more remote than an enemy prison cell in wartime. So this is Giora, in addition to being an amazing fighter pilot hero, is also a wonderful writer and an amazing guy too. I happened, I met him when I was interviewing veterans of the Six Day War for my book, The Lion's Gate. And we spent a lot of time together. He's an amazing guy, still going strong, full tilt. Um, solitary is not just the story of his captivity, but uh, it's, as he puts it, it's a fall from a great height. He went from being the top of the top to the lowest of the low, and then having to reconstitute himself and return to service. He had to go back flying missions you know, as a squadron commander over this same desert where he got shot down. So anyway, I think this belongs on a bookshelf of anybody that, uh, that loves war classics, real-time stuff written by amazing characters. Giora Rahm's Solitary.